Hi guys, it's Mara Paulette. Today we're going to be doing some math together. So I want everyone to take out these booklets, the shake and spill booklet that you got in your folder from your Mora's. And you're gonna turn to the page that has the number six on it. See you guys? It says, sorry, it says six over there. And it has six dots on each line. That's how you know you're on the right page. Okay, so once you get that out, you can also get your counters out that some of you got from your Moras. Some of you have white and red ones, like us, and some of you had yellow and red ones. Whatever you have is fine. And since we're doing the number six today, you're going to get maybe a, a plastic cup or a bowl or whatever you want to use. We're going to put six counters in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can put the rest of my counters aside. And on this paper, guys, we've done this two times before on YouTube. This time, we're going to be trying to get six using different combinations of numbers. So we're going to do a few together, and then I'm going to show you something new. So you can... Oh, also... You'll also probably need either crayons or markers or whatever you have. I chose red and black because one of our sides of our counters is red. And since the other one is white and I don't think you can see a white crayon over the video, I chose black for my other side. You can choose whatever you want, red and yellow, whatever you want, okay? So I'm going to take my cup of counters. I'm going to cover it with my hands so they don't all fly out. And I'm going to shake it. And then I'm going to spill it out on my paper gently so they don't all roll away. And I know you can't see what I got, but I'm gonna show you. So I got two reds. I got one, two, three, four whites. So I'm gonna take my red crayon first. I'm gonna color two of my circles in red. And then how many whites did I get again? Right, four. So I'm gonna color in four of my circles using my black. And then remember last time we did this video, Morris told you that you can even choose to write the number on the side. So I'm gonna make a two in red and a four in white. That helps me practice my numbers, you see? I did two red, I made a two, and I colored in four black ones and I made a four over there, okay? So I wanna show you something cool. Last time, when you guys did the number five with more Ripke, she showed you what a plus sign was. And I want to show you a number sentence. So a number sentence has a plus sign in it and it also has a different type of sign that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to explain to you what a number sentence is. It's a little, it sounds a little scary and it is definitely a little difficult, but I think you can all do it. Okay, I'm going to explain it. So what were the two numbers I got just now? A two and a four. So I'm going to go ahead and write those on a piece of paper. I'm going to write two and four. And now, what were we trying to do? We were trying to get different ways to make six, right? So then I'm also going to write a six. A two, a four, and a six. And what was happening? When I got a two and a four, I want to add those two numbers together. So when I want to add two numbers together, I use a sign called a plus sign, which more Rifki taught us about last time. I'm going to make a plus sign, which looks like this. See? I made it in between the two and the four. And now I'm going to teach you about a new sign. Some of you might know what it is already. It's called an equal sign. So an equal sign is when you want to say, what was the end number? What happened in the end? What number did we get after we added these two numbers? So once we added two and a four, it equaled to eight. So that, I'm gonna write an equal sign. An equal sign looks like this. It's just two lines that are the same size. And that's my number sentence. Two plus sign four equals six. Okay guys, let's try another one. I'm gonna put my counters back in the cup. And then I'm gonna shake them up again. And then I'm gonna spill them. Let's see if I got a different number. Oh, so I got this time one, two, three white ones. And one, two, three red ones. So I'm gonna color in 
three of my circles red. And I'm gonna make a little three on the side so I remember and I can practice my number three. And I also got three white ones. So I'm gonna color in three of my circles black. Okay, and I made a three also over there, see? Three and three. And guys, what does three and three make? Or what does any of these make, guys, see? All of these have the same amount of circles on each line. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So since there's six circles on each line, you know that the answer is always going to be equal six. But we're trying to get different ways to make six. So this is a different way. See, these two look a little different. In this one, we have one more red than we did in this one. So I want to write our number sentence. So who can tell me what two numbers did I get when I rolled my counters? How many reds and how many whites? So I got, I'm going to look at my recording sheet and it looks like I got three reds and three whites. So I'm going to make a three and a three. And then I was adding those two numbers together. So what's the sign that we use to add numbers together again? Right, a plus sign. So I'm going to make a plus in the middle. Three plus three. And then we said we counted them together, remember? And we said when we counted all the circles, there were six circles. Make a six, three plus three, and then I'm going to make an equal sign because that's how many we have all together. Three plus three equals six. So that's my number sentence, guys. So if you guys want to try, you guys can definitely make your own number sentences. We would love to get pictures because this is, would be amazing. And I think you guys can all do it. So one more thing I want to show you is... You can use either this to play this game, or you can make it a little bit different. So I want you to take out some paper. It could be white, it could be construction, whatever you have at home, I have some white paper. And then you can actually take maybe like three or four together. I'm gonna take three pieces of white paper together and I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna use a scissor and then also get out a glue stick. Okay, so you could pause this video if you wanna get those things. A scissor, paper, a glue stick, and you can even get some markers if you need. I'm gonna use some markers and I'll show you why in a minute. So I have three papers together and I'm gonna cut my paper into strips. Okay, so you could cut a few strips and remember I told you I have three papers together. So that helps me cut a few strips at once. Okay, and then when I'm done, So I want to see if we can make a paper chain showing us different ways to make six also. So let's go back to the first one we did. We did two reds and four blacks. So I am going to take two of my paper strips and I didn't really have red construction paper, but you can use red construction paper if you have at home. I'm just going to color it quickly with a marker or a crayon. I'm going to color it in very quickly to show that two of them are supposed to be red. And I'll show you in a minute. I didn't really color it perfectly, just to get the idea. These are my two reds. And then the other side of the counter was white. So I'm not going to color these in. I'm just going to leave these white. And how many whites did we say again? Right, there was four. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a paper chain. So some of you might remember that some classes did this for Sukkot, for decorations for our sukkahs in our houses. And if not, I'll show you how. So first I'm gonna do my two reds. So I'm gonna put glue on one side, the side that I colored on, on the edge, not too much, just a little bit to make it stick. Okay, and then I'm going to overlap it and press it shut so it sticks. Then I'm going to take my other red and I'm going to put it under, wrap it around, and then I need some more glue on the edge of this one. Okay, and I'm going to glue it shut, press it shut. See, so these are my two reds, and then we said that I put four whites aside because we had four white counters. So I'm gonna continue doing the same thing quickly. You guys could do this with me if you want, or you can do it afterwards. This is one, two, 
And if at home you guys are doing this with a mommy or a daddy and you have a stapler, you can use a stapler if that's easier. But please don't use a stapler if you're not with a mommy or a daddy or an older brother or sister because that could be dangerous. So I'm using glue also because I thought it was a little safer. This is my third one. And this is number four. Okay, guys. So now let's count how many rings are in our paper chain in all. Oh, guys, I don't know if you, know if you could see here. This is better. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. See? We got six because we're doing different ways to make six. And you can tell just by looking at this paper chain how many red ones we got and how many white ones we got. See? Because I colored in two red, so we say it's two red plus four white equals six in all, right? And that was our number sentence from before. Two plus four equals six. So guys, I want you to try this at home. You can either use your recording sheet, like I did over here, or you can use some of these to make a paper chain. Or if you're really feeling like you want a challenge, you can even try to make some number sentence, or you can do all three. And we hope we got some pictures from you guys, and we'd love to see all your hard work. Thank you for joining me today, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.